Good morning, my little chimichangas. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> All right, you guessed it. It's a beroo day. <laughs> Y'all like my taco hat? <laughs> awesome, huh? I got a taco hat. Festive day, word festive. <laughs> I am brewing a beer. You know, I really should be brewing something like a, uh, uh, something like Corona or Soul or something like that, some Ducati, but I'm doing the old favorite. <laughs> got my old, uh, uh, my old favorite uh, dry stuff. And so uh, I've already uh, got my HLT up and it's going into the mash on as we speak. If we're gonna save some time and y'all don't wanna be bored with that. So it's another brew day and uh, yeah, happy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna get this filled up, wait on the hour and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> Lettuce, tomatoes. <laughs> All right guys, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Nothing says Texas like the little dragons. <laughs> Over here is the masheroo. It's uh, all underlit, and I can't see what you're saying there. I can see, but I'm not left-handed. Here we go. All right, so this is what we got. That's what we got brewing, boys. This is the dry stout. Uh, I forget all the numbers. I think it's eight pounds. Uh, I'm just gonna wing it on this one. <laughs> if you want the recipe, let me know, and I'll send it to you. This is eight pounds of. Uh, Oh, pale, I think, and then there's uh, 0.75 of roast, and then 7.5 of uh, flaked barley, and a quarter pound of chocolate. Again, if you want the recipe, let me know, but that's where we're at so far, and we're going to slam the lid on it, and um, we're, uh, yeah, we're going to make some beers. I'm going to make some beers. All right, let's spin you around. Close up. Hey, change that, huh? Hey, so it is Cinco de Mayo, and I am not making a Mexican beer, which you'd think I should be at this point, but, uh, oh well. I'm gonna do the old dry stout, and then, uh, next brew day is going to be a, uh, IPA, because that will give me time enough to, uh, uh, do the whole dry hop thing and all that good stuff. And so, yeah, now it's the hour wait until, uh, this baby's done. Oh, things feel weird. How do guys wear these things? <laughs> I don't guess they do much anymore, but... Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're just uh, waiting on the mash, waiting on the mash. I got some more cleanup to do. Uh, we had a little rain this morning, uh, like like a lot of rain early in the, in the you know through the night, and so I kind of had to wait on the rain to stop. It's about 9:30 ish, and uh, our expected temperature today is going to be about 80 degrees. So wearing the rug a little later on might not be a good idea, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so it is has been one hour. I took a little trip to the store to pick up some cervezas. <laughs> the uh, strike wa uh, sparge water is now all heated up. I put my, <laughs> put my uh, 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 what you call it, my poncho back on. I don't know if y'all can see me whatsoever. The light's kind of weird right now. I'll have to move the camera around here in a second. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're at 185 for about 86 degrees. And so that is that. I am going to uh, do a little barrel off. Give me just a second and I'll get set up and uh, we'll look at the color of this, this bad dog. I'm going to sparge for uh, probably about an hour. Let me move you around over here maybe. Whoa. And uh, so give me just a second and uh, let me get things together. Maybe readjust the camera because I look like a negative again. And um, uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, let's try this thing. Maybe this will be a little more better. A little more better. All right, so uh, yeah, like I said, it's been the hour. Can do a little of air life right now. So uh, all I do really is the hose that was attached to the HLT and underletting into the mash tun is now uh, taken from the uh, HLT. And of course, everything is gravity fed. Here's the line of the water down here, and y'all can't see that anyway. So here's the line of the water. So we're just going to get rid of the water at first, and then I will. Uh, I'll get some first runnings and uh, or start doing the, the veil off thing. So we're dumping out the water. And wait a second, y'all can't see what I'm doing, or I can't see what I'm doing. Let me see here. Okay, I readjust some things, and I think this will work here. All right, here we go. So again, out with the water, in with the beer, and or the wort as it be. So we're gonna just kind of do this uh, six, eight, ten times, or whatever it takes to, to get rid of the grain particles. And so I'm just gonna dump this right back off into the mash tun, and uh, we'll go from there. We're gonna uh, seat the grain bed. Of course, y'all know how how that goes. But uh, yeah, looks like a lot of grain in there. Dark color for sure, isn't it? All right. 
and uh, that will stop it. And that's what we're looking like to begin with. Really dark. Huh? So I'm going to carefully pour that back into the mash. And uh, do this uh, six, eight, ten times, whatever it takes, like I say, to get it looking good. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, this helps. Really boring procedure, so, uh, but you get the idea. I'm going to continue to do this until the, uh, until it runs, I can't say clear because it's a very, very dark beer, but at least where there's no uh, uh, grain particles in there. Okay, so ever so slowly, I am moving the, uh, the wort from here into the brew kettle over here. It's uh, just all gravity fed, nothing fancy, but uh, give you a little peek inside, I guess. Not like it's uh, much to look at, but <laughs> here we go. All right, so this is what we're doing. We're just going to slowly move that into there. And as we're doing that, you all see my new hop spider, if I didn't show you last time. Uh, uh, slowly going to move some water from the HLT over here. And rinse the grains. And so just uh, it's a matter of setting this, uh, each one, the outbound and inbound, to be about the same. And just keep the grain bed covered with some water. No more stirring. <laughs> okay, I will catch up to you in about an hour, I guess. Or however long it takes to get this uh, sparged out. <laughs> All right, continuing the theme. <laughs> uh, Corona Extra and Una Frosty Mug. <laughs> Oh, I hope the weather works for me here. It uh, looks like it wants to rain. Oh, there was no hiss. <laughs> no hiss. <laughs> Who bottles this stuff anyway? All right, so just like you'd expect, very, very golden, very, very clear. Little head on top of it inside the bottle. <laughs> I'm not doing a review. I'm just talking. <laughs> All right, of course, you're not going to see it in the frosty glass until it starts to thaw out a bit, but... Here we go. We got the mariachis playing in the back. You know, if, if they get me uh, for copyright on this, somebody's done their homework. So, <laughs> give it hell, give it hell, boys. <laughs> right, cheers to the ears. Oh yeah, uh, finger and a half head smells like corn. <laughs> Drink up <laughs> to the maze. <laughs> Hey, you know, that's not bad. It's actually pretty refreshing. So, um, yeah, let me give you a breakdown on uh, the brew over here. I, I did get the uh, uh, notes out. It's, uh, here we are, eight pounds of Irish pale, um, one pound of dark crystal, 0.75 roast, 0.75 flake barley, and a quarter pound of chocolate. So that's... Uh, just started the spars, just like you've seen from the last part. I still look like a negative. I will work on that. But uh, very slowly but surely, we are moving the wort into the kettle here. And we're about mm, uh, mm, maybe two gallons, three gallons and over here. But yay. And uh, when we get ready, when we go to boil, it's going to be uh, about here. So we're going to get uh, approximately 12, 13 or something like that. Something I'm just gonna boil off anyway. Sorry about being a negative. Yeah, let me move you around again. Oh my goodness. So I did do some cleanup out here and I just so needed it. I'm still a negative. Actually, it looks better on the video than it does uh, when I'm shooting it. Let's try this. Let's try this. All right. So that's what we got going, anyways. And so yeah, I'm just uh, slow, moving the moving the uh, 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 fresh water in out of the HLT and just moving it around the top of the. Uh, Top the mash every now and then, just kind of scoot it around. You know how it goes. One day I'll get one of those uh, sparge balls or whatever it's called where uh, it can kind of do it for itself. But anyway, I figured I'd pop in and, and uh, give you a little rundown on the recipe and uh, show you that I'm uh, celebrating, celebrating. All right, look at that there, boys, with the floaty. Oh, it's ice. <laughs> it's ice in there. <laughs> Cheers and happy Cinco de Mayo. Cha cha cha! Alright, we're making it further along. Ooh, bugs around here. Alright, so we're making it further along. My uh, very, very dark work is turning kind of reddish. I don't know if you can see it necessarily. Getting reddish, and uh, we are about. Yeah, peek in there. Right about here. 
So I still got some more to go, but uh, I figured I'd go on and share another, another uh, cerveza. Hey! <laughs> this time, Dos Equis, the two X's. And if you didn't know, my avatar, or whatever you call it, the guy that I'm with there, he was the spokesperson for this particular brand of beer, Dos Equis. Um, I think they replaced him for a younger guy. Uh, uh, mucho mas putos, maybe? Uh, if you don't know it, guy, somebody who knows. Uh, uh, he's not debonair and suave like, uh, like the other guy. But anyway. <laughs> Dos Equis. This is a cerveza, obviously. It is a 4.2, so it's fairly, uh, fairly sessionable. Alright, let's get a crack on it and get it poured in a glass. Alright, little cannon smokers. I don't know if you can see it or not. Little cannon smokers. It's not a green bottle, so you, it already screams skunky. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just sparging out now and uh, just uh, filling time with drinking beer. Hey, how about that? So, uh, yeah, we got an hour wait on the mash, and then you got an hour wait on the sparge. So, what else are you gonna do but have a couple of uh, uh, frio cervezas? Cervezas Frios, actually. Said that back ass word, huh? Alright, let me get a little head on it, baby. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Ain't that pretty. Looks just like a beer commercial, boys. Nice and clear, like you'd expect. You can see my mug straight on through it. <laughs> uh, cheers. Alright. A little less corny, uh, a little more skunky. <laughs> good thing it's only once a year, right? <laughs> it's all good. All right, I'm gonna continue to sparge. I'll catch up with you in a minute. Hola, compadre. Uh, ¿Cómo está? Uh, I mean, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so uh, where we're at now is the HLT is now empty. Uh, there's still some uh, uh, liquid in the mash tun, and we're almost a volume over here. We are right about. Being very careful. I'm probably going to get out of this uh, whole punch out thing. It seems like a safety hazard at this point. We're about here. So, what I do at this point is I check the refractometer and I'll try again to let y'all see it. It never ever works out for me. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, it is at a 1040. I'm holding my tongue all wrong. Anyway, it's a 1046. Uh, we're supposed to be at 1041 uh, on an original gravity. Now, see, uh, if I get it to 1041 and then boil it down, I'm going to be above that to begin with. So here's where I calculate my volumes is, is uh, just keep uh, hitting, the, hitting the refractometer and if I can get it to a 1041 or just a, a, a little bit less, I'll gain that gravity back by boiling it down. So that's where we're at. So we're about 10 gallons now, but I keep an eye on it. Like I said, get it right around that 1041 or a little less within, you know, four or even six points. Uh, then I'll get, gain that gravity back by boiling. That's where we're at right now. Uh, I got a slow, uh, a slow heat on it now, just to kind of bring up the temperature. And so, uh, uh, and I don't want to ruin my, ruin my tubing. Is, is uh, I got a slow boil on it now, or a slow uh, heat on it now? And I'm still a negative, guys. I'm here. I see you. <laughs> so that's where we're at. We're at a 10:46, like I said. And so we're gonna shoot for the 10:41, and uh, or a little bit, like I said. And, and so that's where we're at. Uh, see you in a minute when uh, I get to the hot break or something. Anyway, I'll catch up with you. On, on the downhill now, it's all up on the boil. All on the boil. Time, time to get another cerveza. <laughs> Alright guys, so far so good. Not gonna lie. Alrighty, um, uh, yeah, hopefully my refractometer's right, otherwise this is gonna be a big screw up. I am at uh, 1044. And I don't even want to put any more in there. Oh, let me grab you off of there, I guess. You can't see in there. All right, give me just a second. Sorry to get so close. All right, yeah, so uh, here's where I'm at. Holy macaroni. Can you see what I'm showing you? Let me see if I can see what you're seeing. Anyway, I am every bit of like 14 and maybe 3 quarter gallons. Maybe even closer to 15. It's a 15 and a half gallon keg. Um, holy mackerel. So again, I hope, hopefully the refractometer is right and uh, I'm not doing something wrong here because I've got uh, <laughs> I got a lot of word in there. Oh, you can see me. I got a lot of word in there. 
Right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on with the boil and uh, I'll see you on the hop drop, I guess. Adieu. I have never been so patient monitoring a hot break. I got it passed, and uh, <laughs> so I've set the timer for five minutes. Monitoring the heat closely, this keg is full. Oh, 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 baby. So, all right, uh, in the five minutes, we will be dropping some uh, target hops. And I got the little sheet over here for it. Actually, th this one's empty because I emptied it into the other one. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I guess that's not so important over there. Usually used in any British style ale for bittering. Also has an intense hop aroma. It's a 10.8 alpha acids. Target. That's a couple of years old. Oh, I guess 16 is like the year of the hops anyway. Yeah, so I guess a couple of years old. I don't know if that's good or bad. But I just went ahead and put them in, uh, put them in this other one because uh, he put some in here and then the others were in that little satchel I just showed you. So anyway, uh, five minutes and we'll drop these guys in the, in the pool. So far, so good. Wow, it's a full kettle. All right, catch you in five to watch that exciting hop drop. Woohoo! Well, that wasn't long. All right, five minutes are up, and uh, I got these air hops. I read out the stuff while ago, so uh, I'm not gonna bring it closer. I'm just putting them in that little hop spider thing. And uh, target two ounces because a 10 gallon batch, but more like 14. 10 gallon batch, so one ounce per five gallons. Just, just over two ounces. It was 2.07. So anyway, that's what the, came in the bag, and uh, in they go into the new hop spider. So the second time I've used it is all. I did, I did a brew. Uh, oh, it was uh, matter of fact, it was St. Patty's Day, and I didn't record it. I did do the Jameson thing. Oh, the music got a lot loud now. Uh, anyway, uh, I did the Jameson thing that day, but I didn't do the. Uh, I didn't show you my brew day. I did an Irish uh, red, which uh, heh, it's gone now. <laughs> it's, it's been a while ago, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, Got to hold up to the namesake. Anyway, let me get out of here. I will see you in. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm gonna toss in the wort chiller here in about 45 minutes and uh, get her cooled down. And uh, I'll see y'all later. This video is running long already. I bet. All right. See you in a minute. Happy Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May. Whoa, the boil's doing fine. Thanks for asking. Yep, we're about 20 minutes into it, I guess. Time for another one. I couldn't find any lime, so I'm going to do lemon. I see why they use lemon in these things, because, uh, well, they need it. <laughs> Cheers to Cinco de Mayo. Cheers. All right, hombres, it's time. Time for flame out. Oh, I'm awfully close, huh? I think it always resets that middle spot, I think. Time for flame out. It has been another 15 minutes, or, ah, I forget when I checked in with y'all last. I got the work chiller in and replaced the hose because I had some, uh, Troubles with the output hose, it was it would leak a little bit, and that's the one you don't want leaking. By golly, it's hot. Anyway, let's get to the flame out. Ah, done. How about that? That easy. So we're gonna let it sit and chill. I'm gonna turn on the water. Yeah, I'm just a matter of turning the valve. Anyway, I will see you in a bit, and I'm uh, gonna go gonna go grab the buckets, and uh, I'm just gonna throw these on top of an old yeast cake, which was um, my Michelob clone. I've got two buckets. Uh, both of them got yeasters in there. The stark flavor is going to cover up whatever uh, uh, whatever stuff that was in there for, from uh, the other one, and away we go. So just that easy. Um, yeah, let me get her chilled down. It's going to take care. Uh, I'm, I'm doing the old submers submersible thing. You, you've seen that thing or not? Maybe. I know you've seen it. Anyway, it's this guy. Uh, okay, that was hot. Got this guy in there. Uh, whole 50 foot of uh, three eighths. Uh, three eighths soft copper. And man, it smells good. <laughs> Y'all know, you know how it goes if you brew? Uh, yeah, it smells like caramel. <laughs> That's what it smells like right now. I'm still in the negative. Sorry about that, boys. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get her chilled down and uh, we'll go from there. Get a final gravity, or I mean, original gravity uh, after I get it into the, cool down and into the buckets. 
and uh, I kind of been checking it, and I don't know if my refractometer is wrong or not. I forgot what I told you all last time, but I'm seeing a 155 now, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, as for my level, uh, it boiled down just a bit. Um, I guess I can grab you up. Anyway, uh, you gotta, you gotta trust me here. It didn't come down, but maybe, maybe an inch and a half, inch and three quarters, maybe. So there's still a lot, a lot of volume in there. Still, I'm still up to about um, uh, here. You know, uh, can you see? Uh, over here, it's about about this high, so it's still another three fingers or more above the top rib. Anyway, let me get it chilled down, and uh, I'll get a final gravity reading, and uh, it's been an excellent day so far. Unless I fell, fall into the uh, the brew kettle, <laughs> all has went well. Uh, numbers a little high on both volume and uh, and and uh, 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 original gravity, so win and win. Uh, been a great day. And this is really getting hot. I gotta get out of this thing. I put it on a while ago, but yeah, I gotta get out of this thing. It's just, uh, it's just too much. Demasiado! It's just too much. Alright guys, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you here in a second. Alright, last time, muchachos! Alright, we got it, uh, put in the buckets. I say we, me and the hat, I guess. We got it put in the buckets. Ended up with 13 and a half gallons of... I don't know about my refractometer, man. I think if I guess it's not right if it's not. I don't know what's up with it. It's 10:44. It ended up uh, being a 10:44. It's uh, supposed to be a 10:41. So over on the volume, excellent. Or over on the uh, uh, original gravity and way over on the volume. So uh, yeah, I dumped it in these old buckets here uh, that had the uh, uh, Michelob clone, and then this guy, the blue one, is uh, had some red ale in it a while back. And uh, I'm sure hoping that that particular one is alright, the yeast is okay, it smelled right, and uh, so we'll see how it goes. So uh, yeah, 13 and a half gallons of uh, dry stout. <laughs> alright, well I guess that's it for me. Uh, y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for coming by, and I will see y'all next time. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Adios. Cheers.